In Moldova, I wouldn't go to because Moldova is probably the most hostile place I've ever been. I've been there three times and was attacked twice. Why is that? Because they are super right-wing nationalist. And you know what's crazy? Even though they attacked me, I respect them for it. So me and my brother were walking down Chisinau, Moldova. It's two in the morning. We had these three girls with us. We're walking. We're talking to the girls in English. And this guy goes, oh, American. And I go, hi. He goes, oh, you come here to bang, bang. We're like, what? You come here porno. Yeah, you come here porno. And by the time he said that, four of his friends had got out of the car and they jumped us. Because they knew Americans have come to this shithole country to fuck our women. Why else am I there? Why else would I be in Kishina, Moldova? It's not for all the beautiful girls. They knew exactly why I was there. I knew why I was there. The girl, everyone understood the interaction. And the Moldovan men are just like, fuck you. We're not going to let you come here and just bang our women. Why would we? They're super, super nationalistic, super, super right wing. And that's happened to me twice. They came, they punched me. I, I took it. I punched my brother. We got them all on one side because we had them surrounded. We're like, okay, we're leaving, leave. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> we're leaving, we're leaving. My brother speaks Romanian. They speak Romanian and Russian. My brother said, we're not tourists. We're not tourists in Romanian, which took, threw them off a little bit. And we got in the taxi. We said to the girls, come get in the taxi. So the girls still came with us. We got in the taxi. Tristan's lips bleeding a little bit, nothing too big. We got back to the hotel and went to, went to the hotel. The girls started telling the hotel receptionist what happened. And then what was scary is the hotel receptionist started to panic. We're like, because it was a woman. She's like, oh, well, what car were they in? And I was like, a BMW. She goes, oh, because over there, the average wage in Moldova is like $200 a month. Having a BMW is a big deal, right? We're like, oh, they had a BMW. Oh, they, they might be mafia guys. They're going to come here. They're going to come after you. They're going to come after you. And we're like, well, how are they going to know that we're here? And the receptionist says, the taxi now is going to go back to them and say for a tip, they'll tell, they'll tell them you're here. I'm here by myself. I'm here by myself. And she started really having like a panic attack. I said, like, well, call the police then. She goes, no, no. She didn't want to call the police. Don't know why. So now me and Tristan are scared. The whole interaction, we were only, it was just reaction, right? We weren't really scared. And once we're in the taxi, we're like, whatever. But now we're scared because the receptionist is panicking. This is four in the morning on a Saturday morning. And we're sitting there and we looked on the thing and there was a flight back to Romania, which is generally safe at 6 a.m. So we just packed and bailed. It was like, all right, well, shit, let's get out of here. And the, twice similar stories have happened to me in Moldova. So Moldovans are super, super protective of their people and their culture. And then sometimes I walk through London and look at all the problems we have here and I, I have to respect them because they won't let anyone go there and fucking fuck around with them or disrespect them or fuck their women or nothing. And the girls there are 10 out of 10. They're fucking beautiful, but they're kind of trapped there and the men won't let us go there. So, but I respect them. I really respect them as men. If I were to meet those guys who jumped me, I'd shake his hand. I'd be like, I get it.